Welcome back to Yes to Tesla, and today we're going to be talking about the brand new update that I finally got. Okay, so here we are. So let's go through a few things that's brand new to me and not brand new to anybody else, okay? So when you get your camera, you also have your cameras and you'll be able to see... I don't want to save the clip, so I don't want to tap it. So it says I can go full screen with this. Here we are. So hold up. Okay. This didn't do anything. I'm not sure why. Is it, I think it's because a live video. All right, cool. Anyways, whatever. So let's go to an event. So let's go to here, this person. Okay, there's still no Zoom. It says I can basically, essentially it said I could look at it full screen or I could look at it like how I'm looking at it. So that ain't working. I don't know how that's supposed to work. But anyways, I'm sure I'm doing it incorrectly. So let's go ahead and take a look at the other thing, which is Grok. So with Grok, now Grok is listening to me and I'll click that. Boom, now Grok is not. So the way to engage Grok, all you gotta do is hold this right here and then it engages Grok. And that's how you do it on the 2025 Model 3. I'm not really sure how to do it on other ones aside from my Model Y, if you hold this, it'll give you the voice assistant that is now listening to me as well. So now if you just want voice assistant, you just press the button right here or you hold this scroll wheel for that function to happen on your uh, Model Y or other genres that are older. Because my Model Y is 23, 2023, so it doesn't have any of these extra capacitive buttons. It literally just has the two knobs and that's it. So I don't know how to actually do it on there. I just know how to do it on mine, so. <laughs> And then also they uh, they gave me the light show, which here you can see how the lights are right now. And you go to the light show, which is now in your toy box, and you'll see light sync. And here it is: sync accent light with music, rave cave max brightness, your own club while you're part, match album art at color. So now, if I play a song, it'll sync with the actual music. You won't be able to see it in the, the daytime. So let's go ahead and take you to the nighttime. Welcome back. All right, so before we get to this good old light show, I figured out how to get the, uh, get the other thing on. So let's go back to the light sink. So this is with the music. So now see how see how it, well you didn't see it, but it turned this dimmer. It dimmed it out. So let's go ahead and um pretty gonna play a little bit of music, but some of the royalty free kind. Actually, you know what? Let's just do the light show. It's pretty it's pretty underwhelming, bro. Actually, you know what? Here, 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 here. It's going to be muted because I can't play these songs, but you'll be able to see, you'll be able to see the ambient lighting at least. So let's just do anything. Here you go. Who's calling my phone? Who, who, who's calling my phone? Who, who, who's calling my phone? Over your sound, 2025. Who's calling my shh? Who's that calling my phone? Is it Stacy? Is it Becky? Is it Keisha? Is it Ellie? Was it Danny? Is it Party? Okay. Now that you've seen that, it's very underwhelming. It's not like it's anything cool. Like it's pretty weak sauce, in my opinion. <laughs> like, I feel like it could be a lot better. I just wish it would change with the lighting, like with the beat. Like, so I, I don't want. I don't want a single color experience. I want the colors to be different colors. Like obviously you have the capability, because right now we're about to do the light shit, the light sync, and do the max brightness, your own personal club nightclub wall part. And that's what this is. It's it's as bright as it, these can actually get. 
and it looks so much better. Like I wish it was like this all the time. It's almost like underglow. Like look, look how much different it, difference it is. Let me just turn it off. Now look at it. It's like nothing. And then you turn off this adaptive, uh, this accent lights, and it gets a little bit better. But you can still see. And it's to, it's to not distract the driver. I'm sure there's a certain amount of light you can produce inside of a car before it becomes illegal. Maybe that's what it is, but yeah. So it says match the album cover art. So we're gonna try that real quick. So let's just give it like a pink one over here. A pink vibe, it shows a pink vibe. I'm actually gonna put this on mute. And then this one, I'm guessing it's reading the red in the back. To give you some red vibes. GNX, white. Kinda like a weird green. Grayish for God's Plan Drake. So this one, this one is where it's kind of off. This is like orange. So I'm, are you just going off of their light brown skin? Because this is black and white. Obviously, you can't do black, but you could could just pop it up white. So it's kind of a hit or miss thing. I, I like I like it. It's cool. At least the colors will change while you listen to your music and it will do stuff but i just don't think i think it's like completely unnecessary to have this syncing to the beat here you go boom it's going to sync to the beat and not have it change colors too like i feel like changing colors is is, uh, is the way to go and it could still like imagine imagine if it just went just shot around like all the way around and stuff and like did different cool things like a Gobi lighting system. That's ultimately what you have in your car already. Now you could buy a Gobi lighting system and do it on your own, but then you run the risk of like, you know, you don't want to ruin anything. You don't want to like, uh, it might be illegal for that. I don't know. And then you wasted money and time. So, so it, it's cool. Light sync is underwhelming, I will say. So I still couldn't figure out how to get the actual uh, dash cam to blow up, it wouldn't, I don't know, let me just go to the notes real quick. Okay, so the dash cam update, so the dash cam app now lets you adjust playback speed for more flexible viewing. You can also choose whether the video fills the screen or keeps the original size. While parked, go to the app, app launcher and then click on dash cam. That's the app launcher, and then the dash cam is right there. Boom. And here's the dash cam right here. And that's all you gotta do. So this is where I'm at here, but it's not, like it doesn't swipe over, you see what I mean? Like it doesn't even swipe over, like it does nothing. How do I do it? You know, like it should be very user friendly. And then you click on, you click on this right here. And that's all it does. This usually expands it to be big, so I don't understand why it's not showing me what I need, what I want to see. Now the 2x thing, so it goes up to 2x, which is still slow. It is still a slow thing, because look, here's the numbers going up right here. It's still slow. I mean, obviously it's better than nothing, but just clicking the 15 second thing you can just kind of fast forward you see what i'm saying look at this this is me driving down the street that's such a fire shot right there that's so fire man that's fire but yeah so if i speed this up to 2x it just looks like i'm speeding that's it it does like that's and then slow motion is pretty cool Kind of, kind of like makes me feel like something's about to happen. And then one X normal. So how do I do it, Elon? I want to open this up all the way and view this on the screen. 
I want to, I want to view it in big time. I don't want to see it like this. I want to see it big. You see what I'm saying? Like there's nothing I can do to make it bigger. I want to make it. I want to fill the screen. It's not filling the screen. So they need to be able to show you what it is. And then Grok, Grok is all right. It's really just a gimmick at this point, but it, it's a great start, is what I'll say. It's a great start. And then yeah, I don't know. So, so to me, there's just really not enough. This is. It seems pretty cool, but it's all right. Improve the site, arrival experience, new icons, charge your list. That's cool. Like, I mean, that's not something you're going to notice until you're ready to go charge. Audio settings. I've already got my audio settings how I want them. So I'll click on this right here. This is my audio settings. I like my bass to be high, so that's where I'm at. Um, on my all-wheel drive uh, uh, Tesla Model Y, it has sub as well. So this is just the bass. But I would be able to control the sub over there. And I let the immersive sound be on. On here I have it off, but on my Model Y I have it on because there's more speakers. Um, so here it is right here. You just create your own preset and then you name it and then boom. I only need one preset. I don't need to sit here and mess with it over and over and over again to make it be a thing, you know. So. Yeah, okay. And then you got the onboarding guide to be able to show you how to do your stuff while you're doing it. Thank you so much for rocking with me in this extremely long video that's about to get continually longer. I appreciate you guys. You guys are amazing. If you guys are in the market to buy a brand new or a used Tesla, please use the link down below. It really helps out the channel, but it will help you out way more than it will help me with your purchase. I appreciate you guys, and you guys have a good night.